What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today iOS 11 Beta 10 has been released. That is incredible. The 10th beta, that beats two records, making this the longest running and most tested version before release ever. And that speaks very good things for this firmware. Apple is really refining, it's really wanting it to be the best that it can be. Now, what's new, what's changed, let's go over that. Now, sorry, first off, I wanted to mention that I uploaded this so late, I actually had a doctor's appointment, so I just came back from that and just now got to picking this thing over. Now, I have been exploring it, checking it out, seeing what I could find, and really, not a single sub menu, nothing that I could see has been changed nothing is different it's all in the same comparing it to the existing beta 9 now at this point I really don't expect it to change much because the update itself was what like 41 megabytes on my iPhone 7 and within it I really couldn't find anything now users are reporting that it feels a little bit snappier I mean when do they not everyone literally always says every update is feeling a little bit better a little bit faster that placebo effect I cannot confirm that for me it's always been pretty responsive only issue I had was the 3d touch lag and that you know I'm not experiencing that anymore on my iPhone 7 maybe some older devices like the iPhone 6s is experiencing it but personally I haven't seen it on this since what beta 8 now interestingly today the developer portal was taken down in what was suspected to be a hack on the actual portal where you would get the update from so that's unknown it's unclear Apple hasn't really responded whether or not that was a hack now getting into the nitty-gritty details there were some things that did change with this beta and that would be to things like notes and iBooks really under the cover little changes to the iTunes store and App Store frameworks as well the way they work going into them I couldn't really notice any differences but there are a couple things I wanted to talk about that I missed in all other nine videos that I posted so in the App Store there's actually new icons for categories. I literally never saw these. I went in to look at what's changed and I'm like, wow, these look nice. So iOS 11 gets a bunch of new icons in the categories section. They look pretty cool, nice and bubbly, something uh, that reminds me a little bit of the Android emojis. We still have no Apple Pay via iMessage for whatever reason that has not been activated. It might still be activated in the next beta or the final GM. So still wait for that. Apple, of course, will not be shipping iOS iOS 11 without that activated very likely anyways that they won't also I wanted to share something pretty cool that uh, someone posted about and made clear you can actually use two fingers to open a new tab in Safari so if you click on a link with two fingers it'll actually open a new tab with that link now if you have it set up in Safari so it opens them up in the background you can literally keep opening them up in the background by tapping on things and it won't pop up like that every single time really cool little tip I had no idea about now I wanted to go ahead and run a Geekbench see what kind of performance scores we can get out of this guy I really don't expect much difference it's such a tiny updates but who knows <laughs> let's go ahead and see now I also wanted to mention that there still might be a another beta as crazy as it is Apple unexpectedly last week released two betas in one week so we still might see a beta 11 and uh, then a GM next week or we might just see the GM version GM being gold master the final release either way I'm excited for it it seems well polished it runs very smoothly on my device and I can't wait to install it on my 7 plus as it holds me over to the iPhone 8 all right and here are those scores so I crested 6,000 on my iPhone 7 on iOS beta 9 or 11 beta 9 here those are one of the highest scores I've ever seen from this device actually single core was 3600 but either way very good scores on both I definitely don't expect your device to slow down by much and I will definitely have a final speed test to give you that comparison once the final GM is out so possibly expect another beta 11 and then a GM version or possibly just the GM either way this is gonna be a fun release guys I cannot wait until this is out my iPad has been completely transformed from this update and the new control center all that stuff is great hope you guys enjoyed the little mini update peace